I'm going to show you how to use vertical galleries in Power Apps. Now, if we go to insert and we search for gallery, we see there are various options. We're going to focus on vertical gallery here. So we're going to click on vertical gallery. And whilst we wait for it to import, you will then see this sort of array and arrangement of your items in the vertical gallery. And as you can see, it's a custom gallery sample and the layout is image, title and subtitle. You can change this by clicking on the layout here or clicking on the layout in the top. And here you can either show the title only. Or what you can do is for the layout, you can end up changing it to title and subtitle. You can add a body of text. You can also make it just an image and title, the image, title and subtitle, or you can do image, title, subtitle and body, which will require a bit more space. There is also a multi gallery option where you can do just title pieces. You can um, just have it as tiles. You can have a bit of a subtitle under each one. Or what you can also do is do title and subtitle with an overlay. But this is completely also up to you. We're going to use this title subtitle with an image just as it showed originally. Now what you may be able to notice in your tree view here is you have various items. Now I'm just going to change the background to an orange just so we have a view of all the elements. So here we have a rectangle and this is the rectangle that's on the left hand side. If we go into play mode whenever we click a different item in the vertical gallery the rectangle will follow suit just the same way when we click on each one the item turns into a bolder version of the existing text. You also have separators. Now if you don't like this you can click on it and click on the three dots and click delete and it will remove it from your entire gallery. You also have a next arrow and this is your icon. Here you can change it to anything you want. So if you want it to show a link, you can change it to that as well. And you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to change it to a green rather than orange or something light. So there you can see it too. You also have subtitles. And here you can change the color of that too and it will change for all of them. Same for titles, you can change that color and you see it reflects for all. If I was to put this in orange, you can see it's now all orange. And as you see here as well, we have a sample image. Now we can change this into just a few custom items rather than using the gallery sample. And the way we can do that is by opening up square brackets. And in here, we're going to open up curly brackets. And here we'll type title, colon, and then we'll open to speech marks. Then we'll do a comma, description, colon, two speech marks again, and some square brackets. And then we'll put the curly brackets there too. Now this tells us we have a title and we have a description. And I'm just going to put test in the title. And in the description, we're going to put test too. Now you see there are some errors and we're just going to click edit in the formula bar. We're just going to change sample heading to title as that's what we've called it. And we're going to do the same for the subtitle here, where we're going to change this to description. 
you can see here that there's still another error if we click edit in the formula bar we're just going to remove the separator as that no longer exists once that's done we'll see the item is back now here we can create some more of these so we're just going to copy that put a comma to separate these items and i'm just going to call this umbrella for example and i am just going to call this riri so as you see we now have two elements if i was to make this much smaller you would have to scroll and you would see both in there so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger again and we're going to focus on editing the layout so as you see in here when clicking on various pieces that if I was to move test 2 for example from semi bold to normal Riri also gets affected if I move that down a little bit further you can see Riri also follows suit to match I'm just going to move test up a little bit more and instead of semi bold we're going to make it bold we're going to change the font to great vibes for example but you know you can change this to whatever you want so i'm just going to choose something that looks okay so i'm just going to choose to go ui in here you also have the ability to add images of your choice so what we're going to do is we're going to find some images And we're just going to look for smiley face emojis. And we're just going to save these. And we're just going to save them to our picture folder. And we're actually going to make sure it's two images that are either PNG or JPEG as WebP images aren't really useful in Power Apps and here we're just going to come back to it so we're going to go to media on the left hand side and we're going to click on upload here we'll go to pictures and we'll choose our two smiley faces and here it will upload and import the media into the Power App now here in the image what we can do is we could click on image here and choose the happy emoji but as you see it replaces both in here but let's say we wanted one to be for test and the other one to be for umbrella here we can make that possible so in image we're going to hit ctrl x to delete what's there and here is where we will use the if statement so if this item dot title equals and here we're going to put test we are going to do a comma and this is where we'll put the true element so this will be the happy emoji face now if it's false we can do another if statement to go if type this item dot title equals umbrella we can then have it show the s nice one so we're going to do if this item dot title equals umbrella we want it to be s nice dot svg and if not we want it to return sample image and we're just going to close them to brackets and as you see now we have two different images based on content that is in the power app now if i was to change test here and remove it you see it returns to the sample image but if i put it as umbrella you see the umbrella smiley face comes up and if i change the second one to test the title now reflects the image and the image becomes whatever is in the title here so it's a different smiley face you can also do the same for the link element here if this item dot title equals umbrella then you could send it to 
the song of Umbrella by Rihanna, for example. So it's just dependent on what you want to do.